and well coaching uh one of the 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 good things or more enjoyable parts about the coaching is being able to work with different players at all levels so even so currently i'm working at St. lawrence college where i have to work with from year fives and then i'm also doing work all the way up to the england seniors um helping out there whether it's with the indoor program or occasionally covering um some sessions with, with the seniors if not and i'm and my real responsibility is working with England development men and under 21 so there's a you know it's from the beginners all the way through and I really do enjoy it I do, I do enjoy the just the, the different attitudes how to uh, get the best out of the players from seeing them develop from nine years old all the way through to sometimes making it to you know England under 16 it's a real really really en enjoyable uh, feeling the other thing um, uh, it kind of links with the traveling with coaching um, because of traveling you do get to meet players from strange countries who are pretty good very good hockey players but are never never really they're not known because the team doesn't play in the champions trophy or the team doesn't play in the olympics um so nobody knows them so i i quite enjoy um you know finding these players quite a few of them come from trinidad and tobago uh, and all the guys who've come over they've had a fantastic uh time in, in England uh, and making some yeah some memorable achievements so for instance the first couple guys came over who I was coaching East Grinstead and they worked really hard uh, and we won division two we won division one and went straight to the Premier League you know it was brilliant for for, uh, for three of us from Trinidad and Tobago to be part of the East Grinstead being into the prem back into the Premier League um, was absolutely uh, fantastic and to be fair East Grinstead they always remind us of it how grateful they are and yeah, they really do enjoy enjoy those days because it was fantastic times and now even going on coaching at Canterbury you know last year we were in lots of trouble um, and we were you know fort fortunate that we could have uh, attract um, an Australian international uh, but also one of, again from traveling one of the players who came over and was superb for us was a, a Mexican striker you know nobody will uh, nobody would have known about him he was uh, but he is a was a top quality player and did really well for us in the Premier League and it's stuff like that that really makes it enjoyable because I went through the same thing so it was uh, as in coming from Trinidad and Tobago you, you're not gonna be taken seriously for yeah because uh, the hockey is not, you're not really seen um, so I, and I, I know that there's lots of players with that same who are who are able to play um, but just that the country is not not at that level um, and it's one of the ways that one of the ways can you know coaching Canterbury we've gone down so we've had a few players from random countries uh, as a well, part of it being um, a lot from Trinidad and Tobago you're, um, we had a, a Mexican uh, guy from Portugal some from Spain you know Spain men have uh, done well previously but they don't really travel to Europe that much as in to England so it was good to find a Spanish a couple of Spanish players uh, so it, it yeah I mean it's um it's really enjoyed that part of coaching has been enjoyable and you know what these players because they they enjoy the the time in England and enjoy it uh, so I suppose the coaching they received, they yeah, they pass on so many other players as well. So when they go back, they recommend so many other players. Oh, you need to go to England. You know, it's such a, a, a nice atmosphere. The club system is brilliant. The coaching is brilliant. The level is great. Um, and so I, I do enjoy it when I, I get that sort of feedback.